Um, it came together because a bunch of students had an interest in doing something different and we just happened to learn about it the student chance. But once we once we learned about it and people got very excited about it, it just took off. The students we got very excited about building a robot and being part of the competition and seeing how far they could take it. If they could actually do something competitive. And now, over a decade later, here we are. Our robotics program supports over 100 students and we managed to reach many more in our community. Currently, our robotics program consists of one FRC team, four FTC teams, and two FLL teams, all of which we've helped to start and continue to mentor through our shared lab. Uh, we also do a lot of demoing at events so that we can reach out to more people at one time, and so a lot of those are elementary school STEM nights where we'll come in and show the robot and talk to them about opportunities in First Lego League and First Lego League Junior, which are available to them. At events, we want to do many different things. First, we love talking to parents because we want to be able to network, and we want to give them the opportunity to know about First and get their children involved in the program. We also talk to children because, of course, they want to know how robots work. They want to build them. And lastly, we talk to schools and other places in that area so we can just make sure our team goes to many different places for outreach and we don't stay in one single school so that we can get around Utah as much as we can. It's important for uh, students to start uh, first young. First is really, it's a really easy community to get into, but at first it can be sort of uh, intimidating. So what our t team tries to do is to uh, encourage younger students in our surrounding middle schools and elementary schools to join first and explore STEM so that they're more comfortable with it once they hit high school. So we started First Tech Challenge here at West High several years ago with the two uh, rookie teams, but we have started a slew of FTC teams here. We currently support four teams. One is specifically an all-girls team, one's an all-Hispanic team. We also do a First Tech Challenge qualifying tournament, which is sort of like running a wedding. It's a lot of planning. We have 50-plus volunteers for it every year. Uh, 25 teams compete in the FTC qualifier, and uh, it's, part, it's one of the four qualifiers that we use to get into, that teams will use to advance to the Utah State FTC Championship. So first robotics to me, it's been very important in my development. Um, it's helped me, you know, realize what I, what I really enjoy to do, and that's build, design, and, you know, engineer things. Um, and without it, I probably never would have considered taking an internship with a train building company. I would never, you know, be on the path that I'm on today, you know, doing what I love to do. Oh, the, the team's done a fantastic job.